What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And today we're here to talk about how to screen record on a Chromebook. Now specifically, I have the Pixel Book here. That's what I've been using. But I also have a Samsung Chromebook Plus. Now before we jump into the video, I do have a slight disclosure and that is any of the products or the services featured in my videos. They're not sponsored. I'm not sponsored at all. And that's important to mention because this is all just stuff I'm buying because I'm a tech nerd. I love this stuff. I love sharing what I find with the viewers. And that's what this is all about. Now, in order to screen record on the Chromebook, we're going to be using a screen recorder called Screencastify, which is a browser extension for Chrome. And this browser extension can be found in the web store for Chrome OS. Now you may be wondering why not use a screen recorder from the Google Play Store. And that is because although they do show up when you do a search for screen recorders on the Play Store, none of them are really compatible or work all that good with a Chromebook. You'll normally get messages on the app that'll say that your device is not compatible with this version or the other favorite, this app may not be optimized for your device. We really love that, don't we? So Screencastify is really easy to get and I'm gonna show you how. So we're gonna start things off by searching for the web store icon and our apps tray and clicking on that. Then we're gonna do a search for Screencastify in the Chrome web store. Now I already have the browser extension installed, but yours should look like the image on the top right here if you haven't installed it yet. And you're gonna click that blue add to Chrome button. So once we hit that add to Chrome button, it's going to bring up a dialog box asking for permissions. Then we're going to get to this screen where it's going to ask us to sign in with Google, which is very important because it's actually going to save our videos automatically to Google Drive so we can access those videos on any device. The next screen will ask for some permissions and we'll hit the next button and that'll complete installation and we can go ahead and try this out. Using the screen recorder is very easy. We're just going to click on the Screencastify icon in the top right hand corner and then we'll get a drop down menu. Now we've got a few options here, but we're going to keep things simple and we're just going to go to the record button here and then we'll have another dialog box open. We've got a few options. We can share the entire screen. We can share just the application window and we can also share audio or disable that. After all that's configured, you're going to hit the share button here Three, and then we'll two, have a countdown. One. Now, if you don't want this screen to show up in your screen recording, you're just going to swipe that to the right. And then once you get done recording, you go back up to the Screencastify icon here, click on that, and then we'll hit that stop button. Now, as soon as we hit the stop button, you'll see that the recording will be saved to my Google Drive. So there are some nice features of Screencastify and that is when you're done recording and you hit that stop recording button, you'll see an extra tab pop open in Chrome browser and that's going to automatically play the video that you just recorded. Not only that, but when you get done recording, Screencastify will automatically upload your video to the Google Drive so that you can access that video across all devices. So there are some issues and we'll jump into them with Screencastify Lite, but keep in mind that what we're about to say applies to the Lite version. And with any Lite version, there are going to be some restrictions. So the first limit is there is a 10 minute video length limit and a limit of 50 videos per month. And I didn't have that issue because I don't do that many screen recordings, but if you are someone who's going to be doing videos longer than 10 minutes or more than 50 a month, that may be an issue. The bigger problems I had were that the light version has a watermark, which again is to be expected. Also, when downloading the videos to the Chromebook, it would export in a weird video file format called WebM, which was unusable in PowerDirector. But there is a way around this, and that is to go with the premium version of Screencastify, of course. Screencastify Premium is $24 a year, which equals $2 a month, which is really not that bad at all. But let's talk about what Screencastify Premium comes with that makes it better than the light version. So Screencastify Premium is going to offer unlimited recording length as well as unlimited videos. 
The watermark is also removed and exported videos are converted to .mp4, which is a file format that's usable in PowerDirector. And with Screencastify Premium, you do get the option to trim and crop videos, but I'm not too concerned about that because I can do that in PowerDirector. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. And they may even encourage future videos. And if you can, hit that subscribe button. It'll support the channel. These videos, they do take time and money and it'll help us out. And until next time, Leon checking out.